بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll try to see the ping error messages like in the previous we have seen the ping command or ping utility which is used for testing the connectivity or the communication between the devices and we have verified that now what if there is no reachability so we are trying to communicate between these two devices so if there is any problem then what type of messages you will see so mainly you will see these are the two different types of error error reporting messages because sometimes if you don't get a reply from the destination machine machine basically you will be getting these messages like you see something like destination host unreachable basically it's host and you will see something called request timed out so we call them as icmp reporting error messages now if i try to ping let's say if i generate a ping request and i'll try to ping something like something you know xyz.com so i'm not sure whether it is there or not but uh, i'm just saying xyz.com and you can see here i'm getting a message called request timed out so the request timed out message indicates that your your ping requests are not being answered so which means you are not getting any reply or the echo reply message from the destination device so which means there is some problem now the most likely or the most uh, possible reasons we'll see like some of the possible reasons if you are not getting so like the host is down maybe the destination server or the destination device you are trying to reach is uh, not up maybe it is down due to some you know down means maybe powered off or some kind of uh, issue like that like maybe the device is down maybe powered off or it is uh, down basically or maybe that device as it, the connection to that particular device is not not working maybe some lan issue or wan issue connectivity part so that is one most likely reason that's the first thing but but negative answer it doesn't mean that always you know the device might not be present like in my case here so i'm trying to ping to this xyz.com basically i i don't think there is an xyz.com specific url maybe you know that that might be the reason so there's no either there is no host with that device uh, with that ip or the url or that device is doesn't uh, is not powered on or or not not a lab generally we can say maybe connectivity issue as well so but that is not the only case so negative answer doesn't mean that always the network is uh, the device is not alive so okay so uh, so general meaning is like the host is not answering the icmp request which means either the icmp request are not reaching that particular destination also sometimes so the other likely reasons are like the ping machine is not connecting to ip network like maybe some kind of routing issues because uh, maybe your ping packet travels still that particular router and that router is not uh, allowing or not reaching or maybe your packet is not reaching to that particular network because this is not connecting to an ip network now ip network means routing related issues generally unable to reach that particular network or the other most likely reasons are like you have some external firewall uh, basically you basically what they do is in a production scenarios they block most of the icmp request especially this ping uses an icmp protocol that is internet control message protocol so basically these messages are blocked because the attackers may use icmp request to get some information about the company or the network or the service provider so basically in those they will block these messages because it is actually a first step for the attackers to determine the information about the network and the and the devices and that information he can use that for the future attacks so so blocking icmp is the actually the first recommendation to secure your networks so maybe that company has blocked those icmp messages or maybe there is a service provider in the transit blocking them Uh, it can be anything or sometimes you see this windows firewall so generally inside your windows operating system you have a inbuilt firewall uh, if that firewall is enabled then 
the default firewall behavior is going to block. Like if you, if you generally see nowadays in Windows operating system, you have a Windows uh, firewall settings, basically Windows uh, firewall. And by default, if you if you see this firewall, by default it is turned on. So if you're trying to reach, like if you take a simple home network setup, like you have a computer, uh, PC one, and you have a laptop here, and you're trying to reach this, sometimes you don't get the reply. You may get request time dot because of the uh, firewall enabled on the PC too. So that might be the case. So typically you disable this uh, in that kind of scenarios if you want to uh, test the connectivity. But again, not recommended, but this might be the possible case if, if, if you see that the ping requests are not being answered by that particular devices, you can simply go and turn off. So the most likely reasons, the connectivity issue, as I said, or maybe the device is powered off, the first two reasons. And the next two reasons may be an external firewall inside the production network is blocking, or maybe there is a, a Windows firewall or the workstation firewall which is blocking uh, by default your your ICMP messages or the ping request. So next thing, there is uh, one more type of message you will see generally, uh, something called destination host unreachable. Now this uh, typically happens when you are trying to reach uh, any specific device, like if I if I check my IP address, I'm using 192.168.15.27 uh, IP. And if I try to reach one of the device, let's say I'll try to reach one of the device 15.5, maybe a 15.5 that is like assuming another device in my network. So I get a message something like destination host unreachable. Now basically this message indicates that this particular host or the device to which I'm trying to reach is unreachable. That's what it's saying, which means now, unreachable message indicates that this particular host is unable to route your packet or send a packet to that particular destination. So maybe the device doesn't exist or device doesn't respond or in general here, I don't have a route. So when you see these messages means it indicates that I don't know where exactly that particular device is because the ping request is not uh, moving from your device. You can see the reply is coming from a local PC and the local PC is saying, that the destination is unreachable. Now, the most likely reasons, if the reply is coming from your local PC, then we need to understand that the local system has no route to the desired destination. Means to, to whichever the user you are trying to reach from this local host is unreachable. So maybe that the host doesn't exist or I don't know exactly where it is. But if you try to ping to this 15.1, I can ping because that device is present. But it doesn't know about 15.2 also. I think uh, I have multiple devices connected on my network here. But I'm not, I don't know what is the IP they are using. Maybe 26 if I try. Because from DSCP, they are getting the IP. You can see these messages. So one possible reason is the host do not have a route. Don't know. Don't know about how to reach that particular destination. That's the one likely reason. And the second reason is if you see the reply is coming from a router, maybe the remote router do not have a route. Now this is uh, most likely like when you're sending a packet from 192.168.1.1 or maybe 1.10 from this PC, let's say I'm connecting to service portal and I'm trying to reach internet, let's say, or maybe I'm connecting to a remote branch. Now, sometimes what happens is uh, if I'm trying to reach some some address, let's say on service portal, there is a DNS server 200.111. So assume that is my DNS server, and I'm trying to ping to 200.111. Let's say. So when I try to ping to this, now is sometimes your packet will will actually goes to the router because whenever the source and destination are on different subnets, the packet reaches the router. And the router is going to send out a reply saying that the reply comes from where instead of uh, this host instead you'll see the ip address of the router what is the ip address 
the reply comes from the router saying that destination host unreachable. So which means this router, the packet reaches the router, but the router do not have a route uh, where to send. So most likely this is like routing issues. Uh, we'll talk more on this in the routing concepts, in the routing when we get into routing concepts there. So if you are getting a reply from the local router and the local router is saying that uh, destination host is unreachable means the local router do not have a route to reach that particular destination. Local router or remote router till, till whatever the hop it reaches. Like sometimes this router knows, maybe it goes to the next router and that router will send a reply saying that I don't know where to send. So that's the reason we say it is local router or remote router. It depends. Whichever the router do not have a route in the transit, basically that is going to reply with a message called destination host unreachable. So these two replies you get either from the local system or from the router. So depending upon from where you're getting a reply, you can figure out that. <clears throat>